140 words per minute for 5 minutes 5 seconds more start the grievance of the petitioner appears to be that for several years as many as 94 families whose names are shown in the list annexed with the petition were residing unauthorized along with a large number of families as these families were sought to be evicted they wanted rehabilitation since such rehabilitation was not made in respect of 94 families the petitioner seeks for a direction in respect of prayer to rehabilitate all of the 94 families in the list who have produced the documents to establish residency prior to 31st december 1998 learned council appearing for the respondent has submitted that in fact in the places in question 1435 squatters have been identified and they have been rehabilitated however 94 squatters were found ineligible for such rehabilitation thereafter the matter was again reconsidered at the level of lieutenant governor and further 20 squatters were found eligible leaving 74 ineligible as far as the relief for the remaining 74 families are concerned it is not for this court to go into the details as to the eligibility in these proceedings as it would be only in the realm of the authorities to find out their eligibility. eligibility on the basis of documents though the respondent has taken a stand that all eligible squatters have been already rehabilitated and the 74 families whose names are shown in the list are found ineligible we are of the considered view that in view of their grievance that they had been living there for quite number of years their grievance may be addressed by the respondents by once again making such verification in view of the above as far as prayer 1 is concerned we direct the respondent to revisit the claim of the 74 families by making one more exercise for verification and if any family is found eligible they can consider them for rehabilitation as per the policy in vogue as far as prayer 2 for rehabilitation of 650 juggi dwellers are concerned for want of any details we are not inclined to issue any direction except again permitting the petitioner to furnish the details of those juggi dwellers before the respondent for consideration in the event such request is made the respondent has to consider it by making necessary inspection and then decide as to whether any of the 650 juggi dwellers are eligible for rehabilitation as per the policy in vogue as far as the decision in respect of 74 families is concerned the respondent is directed to take such decision within a period of 6 weeks as far as direction relating to 650 juggi dwellers are concerned the same shall be complied with within 3 months from the date of the receipt of the request with details from the petitioner juggi dwellers with the above direction the petition is disposed of during the pendency of the writ petition the petitioner has also taken out an application wherein the petitioner has made a grievance that during the pendency of the writ petition a fire broke out in the slum cluster on 13th april 2013 around 1:30 am and almost 800 slums were burnt to ashes in not less than 30 minutes in the said fire four children and one woman lost their lives leaving several injured hence the petitioner seeks for a direction to provide food water and medical help to the said 800 slum dwellers in so far as the said relief is concerned the state is obliged to look into the said grievance and provide water and medical assistance and to some extent food as well to those who suffered due to fire we 
therefore direct the government to take immediate steps to provide the above facilities to the said slum dwellers without any further loss of time this direction would be as an interim arrangement as the victims would not be made to suffer however we make it clear that this direction shall not be construed as one of recognizing the eligibility of those persons for rehabilitation as sought for in the red petition with the above direction this application is also disposed of